Okay guys, that's the flamingo, hanging out with my friend Marissa. And uh, I'm gonna do a speed run of Interbike since this is the first time it's in Reno. Did you have fun? Is it good so far? Yeah, I'm having fun so far. <laughs> it's a good time. So the plan is just to go look all around so you know what it's like in case you couldn't make it. Yeah. Cool. Bye Marissa. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. So we parked just to the left of the casino. Parking is pretty, pretty good, you know, in the past with Las Vegas. I feel like I've had to walk a lot further. Parking in, what is it called? The Luxor, right? And just the vibe here, it's like way fresher. It's cool. Like you can see I'm wearing my little hoodie right now. The air is clean. Reno is pretty awesome. There's these like little hills all around. It's kind of surrounded by mountains, like every direction you look. There are still some anxious drivers, I suppose, but it's not too bad. <laughs> nice. And as you can see, there's like an outdoor area and that's where the test track is. People have told me like, eh, it's kind of short, maybe not quite as impressive or interesting as in the past, but they do have it. And in Las Vegas, it seemed pretty rare to, to get outside. Everything was inside, right? So it's like super hot. It was loud. It's all the gambling stuff, smoking and stuff going on. So this is just feels a lot fresher. I appreciate that. And then they've got some good food stuff. There was like, a, actually, let's start with outdoor demo. Oh, until 10? I guess we're here early. <laughs> okay. Let's try to sneak in. <sighs> this is where some of the shows are. Welcome. Cool. Let's just dive in. Not until 10? Not even the media? Oh man. Okay guys, we're still getting, still struggling to get in. cafe. People told me the food was kind of eh. I think this year's event is sponsored by Yamaha again, as usual. Got a cool booth in there. Ten o'clock? Yes, uh, Unless you're what? Huh? I, I, some people are going in, so what's this? Yes, the... they are exhibitors, sir. They want to prep their oh. exhibit for you. Thank you. Before you walk in. Got it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to get one of our friends who's an exhibitor to get us in. But in the meantime... Ah, registration, here we go. So I registered at Lake Tahoe, which was awesome, by the way. Another really, really great upgrade this year because it's just so, it's beautiful, it's not dusty or sandy. Um, it did take a little while to get up there, like 45 minute drive, but it worked out pretty well. People for bikes, sea otter. Okay, I'm gonna call some people to try to get into the show. Okay guys, I got into the show. It's basically just starting and I'm over in so kind of the imports area where you can see a bunch of these different products. Uh, it gets sort of unbranded a lot of times. And I think this is where some of the, uh, some of the more affordable brands source their, source their bikes and then they take on a container or two and they'll bring them to the United States. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool. It's a neat to see the possibilities about you know, what we might be seeing in, in a number of years. Some of them are a little funky, a little out there. And I think it comes down to, you know, the value or how easy the companies are to work with. But it's just, 
considering all the bikes that I've covered for EBR, seeing a lot of very similar, but off-branded kind of stuff. You know, Asia is where a lot of this stuff comes from. China, we've got that tariff now, so there's a little bit of adjustment, I think, going on. We're moving towards more stuff from Taiwan and maybe Vietnam. So this is cool. Looks like these guys, Mac Motor, they make the motors for some of the, the bikes we've seen before, like the E-Flow. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna zip through. Hey guys. Hey there. Oh, it's top secret. Oh boy. <laughs> That's Justin. He's from um, Grin Technologies. Those are pretty, huh? Look at this. Really cool, cute little bikes. This is inner bike, so I'm just I'm just taking a tour, man. Um, but I pre you'll be on YouTube. You will be. <laughs> Check these out. Oh, this is funky, huh? Wow, so much cool stuff here. It's just, you know, for me, it's it's difficult to choose like what what to review, and I rely on feedback from you guys um, on what you're excited about or what's what's popular in the forums. Look at this, huh? And again, it's like whooshy in technology, I, you know, maybe we'll see that brought into the United States or maybe you guys will see it over in Europe or something, but it's so cool that they're interbike. This is clearly like a recent Mueller uh, inspired design right here. It looks like a Bafang motor. Um, just pretty, pretty neat. If you see something you like, hopefully you can pause the video and, and get the name. You know, that looks like a stealth bomber kind of a thing. So yeah, this is like the, the, the Wild East is what I would call it. Look at this, this looks like the Super 73. And we've got a nice looking trike. I mean, that's exciting right there. I was reviewing something like that from a company called uh, Trivel recently. Sunglasses. Hey, how's it going? Can I interrupt your... Uh, you can hi. talk to me while we're on camera. Is that okay. cool? Yeah, that's good. I, I, I talked to uh, James uh, McLean. Okay. Yeah, James he, McLean, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he shared with me your uh, contact. Okay. Because uh, we are bringing our brand uh, here to the U.S. What's it called? Uh, Vector Bikes. Vector Bikes. You want to give me a card? Yeah. We're, we're located just here. You want to take me over there? Yeah, Let's do it. So here we go. We got a little bit more uh, the import stuff going on. Because I, I follow uh, your videos. I like you follow them. EBR? Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the reviews are uh, great. You liking that? Yeah. Oh, here's So this is iGo. I'm going to do some stuff with them later. We got bulls. I'm going to do a big overview. Uh, I just I have to keep talking while we're walking, man. But this I is... Understand. But this is light now. This is, you know, I'm going to be posting this later, but I'm probably okay. not going to edit it. So you will be on there. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Look at this double battery fat tire bikes. I think Sam was telling me about this. Uh, from the Electric Bicycle Center. Rayvolt, I've heard of these guys before. Totem. Are we getting close to your booth? Just yeah. Quick provides. Sweet. Ah, oh, Magnum. A lot of the same stuff from Magnum, it looks like, this year. They do a great job trying to keep prices low, I'd assume, and just being consistent with their product offering. Okay. Is this it? Yeah. Wow. Take me around real quick. So, so basically, we have a Marseille version. Oh, this is this is funky looking, kind of uh, a cool off-road design. This is a, um, a special edition for uh, Mexico. Looks like a race car, man. I yeah. love it. Shout out to Mexico, right? I, you guys are great. Yes. Um, and this is our uh, top of the line uh, model, so we call it the uh, drift uh, performance. Sweet. You got the motor inhibiting hydraulic disc brakes. Hydraulic disc Gotta love that, man. 500 watts. And 500 watt motor. A lead on the rear, and then. Uh, a set on the front. Nice. And it, what is this, like a 24 speed or something like that? It looks like it's got yeah, three it's sprockets. Eight by three, eight by three. It's 24, yeah. baby. Yeah. I got my math skills going on here. Vector, this looks like a it's kind of a city this commuter is, type is of a bike, bike, huh? This is a fat uh, tire bike. Fat tire bike. Yeah, you have this this extra thick top tube here. Is that one of your signatures, like yeah. part of your design? Yeah. like it. Very cool. And uh, this is a, a custom model we developed for the share bicycle system. It really, system. it looks like that, right? Yeah. Bike share? Yeah. So it looks pretty tough. So the, the positive thing of our brand is that we make uh, our batteries in Mexico. We use a standard LG or Samsung cells. Cool. Yeah, we make our own electronics, our controller, 
our uh, GPS tracker, our BMS. What happened here, man? Oh, Were you flipping someone off? Basketball. And then, okay, good. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> glad it came about that way. I got to keep going because I'm doing okay. like a, a run through. But, but it was I, nice to meet you. But the, I, I want to talk to you about uh, doing reviews of our bicycle. So I take. To I'll James. come. I got your. I got your card. Okay. I'll come back, or we'll. I be, have your phone number. I will text you. Just call me. Yeah, call me or text okay. me. Thank you. Well, nice to meet you. So it's Vectro. Vectro bikes. Oh, that was your brand. I thought that was your name. So Narvartre. In, Mex in Mexico City. Sweet. Yeah. Rock on. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Sweet guys. Uh, it's nonstop action out here, especially because, you know, people sort of recognize me. But I wanted to do this for you guys so you could see what it's like to show up here and just to just to be at the show and what it looks like here at the new convention center in uh, in Reno. Right? There's there's several big halls going on. So I like this totem stuff. This looks pretty cool. I've never heard of these guys before. Okay. X Cobra. Sweet. Oh, connect. Seat post suspension. I love this stuff, you guys. And you've been doing rebranding, right? We have, yeah. So we rebranded about a year and a half ago. Um, when we rebranded, we also brought out the new product. It's got has less setback. Um, oh, we yeah. We made it a little sexier. We changed the seat clamp up top, which was already great, but we put a spring in there as well now. Huh. So when you actually swap seats out, it's, it's a lot keep the easier. Seat I remember that thing flopping all it around, does. dude. Yeah, so now it's not going to flop around when you swap everything out. So if you want to try your, another seat out, you're going to keep the seat, same seat angle as you had before. You guys do a great job. I'm doing like a walkthrough, so I'm going to have to head out. But Cheers. rock on. I especially like the carbon fiber. Awesome. Oh, Thank yeah. yeah <laughs> Thanks. Sweet. Green bike. Oh, I know Yay! you guys. How's it going? Yay! Been in touch for a while. Yay! I'm. Case? I'm gonna. I'm coming back. This is just a video of like inner bike. Okay, so. <laughs> Bye. Sweet. Look at these cool trikes. Electric trikes with mid drives. What is this called? Hase. Hase bikes. Hase bikes. Yeah, Haza. Haza? Haza. Let's say it on camera. Haza. Haza. Sweet. I love them, dude. These are sweet. Nice to meet you. Yeah, rock on. I'm just doing a little video overview of Interbike, so I'm gonna I'll be back, but right, yeah. take care. Sweet, that's kinda neat, huh? We got some more. Is this cat trike? These are non-electrified, most of them. There's probably some conversions. I see people shops actually will try to put like a hub motor back there. Go Swiss drive's great for that. Bionics. Bionics is working on uh, you know, pulling things together I hear. There's been some acquisitions. Reese and Mueller over there. I should probably go scoop by the Reese and Mueller bike. Uh, booth for a second because they got a lot of cool stuff. GSD. Turn always has this cool thing. It's like a shipping container. And it's awesome seating area. Some updates. They have a Buffang powered folding bike now. I think it's a little bit cheaper. $21.99. Vectron D8. That's sweet, man. With like the, the stem and the lights and stuff. That's that's a hot product for show. It's beautiful. Beautiful setup. New wheel. That's interesting. I think of I think of new wheels like the shop new wheel, so oh gotta love Ortlieb. Hello. Yeah, I love these frame bags and stuff. So you get yourself all set up for like an adventure with these flared drop bars. Oh love it. Oh Masi. Okay, so I'm used to seeing um I'm trying to think of what company that is. They have like the steel frames and stuff. Raleigh course a lot of the stuff looks similar for this year I've just been reviewing a lot of these bikes maybe some new colors or slight refinements instead of being painted they've got some badges that are like welded onto the bikes this is cool very nice and some little nicer plugs maybe on the, the charging ports and stuff regular bikes Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this stuff. This is beautiful. Yuba. We saw these the other day at uh, Outdoor Demo Day. That one in particular. Kind of neat. They got all these cool accessories like for kids. These are called... Uh, yeah, this is like a retainer bar so the kids don't, don't fall out. I don't know what it's called actually. Got some groceries up front. It's always neat to see how, how these companies accessorize. And then Rambo. I saw these guys at Outdoor Demo Day too and now they have even more beautiful colors yeah it's just just awesome really exciting accessories like this trailer there's the one with the suspension in the back like that yeah 
be bouncing up and down a little bit. I wonder what this is for. I mean, that's for like a gun or something. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really hunt. Oh, and then they have a smaller one. Look at this fat tire bike with smaller wheels. I think they have a 24 inch. I think that's this one right here. So they have fat bikes for people of all different sizes, which is cool. Okay, here we are at Reese and Mueller and you can see power tube is really popular this year. So the batteries are all uh, hidden. It's not like the older power packs, although I do like these a lot because they're lighter weight and a little bit more available. You don't have to have like a special mounting bracket or something that's been added to the bike. Um, some of the power tube stuff, you know, I'm not sure what their configuration is exactly, but sometimes the companies have like a proprietary shield um, or an extra handle or something built in. That is the case with Trek. I was looking at their power fly earlier this year um, and it was just kind of, uh, it just sort of hit me like, huh, it weighs a little bit more. You might not be able to borrow or rent it as easily. Yeah, here we go, Yamaha bikes. Oh, and EG, these guys are great. Uh, Sam carries them at the Electric Bicycle Center in Fullerton. Got some great integration on the batteries. It's, it looks like a brand new full suspension model from them. And I'm guessing the price is good. They tend to be really affordable. Here's the Athens. This is one of their most popular affordable bikes. Hey, what's this new one called here? It's the Dakar. The what? Dakar. Dakar? Yes. Dakar. Oh, okay, cool. How much are we looking at here? What is this price at? It's 3500 dollars 3500 bucks. Yeah. Where's the Athens? Because this one... That's the Athens, yeah. The, this year's new 350. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. a little bit more powerful because it was 250 in the past. Yes. How much is this price at? What's the price point on that? Uh, right now it's retailing for $1,300. 13? 13. Right. Did it have to go up a little bit because of the tariffs and stuff? It already did. It already did. So yeah. you're already adjusted. Yeah. That's not bad. That's still, is that one of your most popular bikes? It is. This is very cool. Wayne, it's good to see you. Good I'm doing you, like a walkthrough, so I'll, I'll catch you later. Thank you, Ford. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Moton. Okay. So Brent's been reviewing a bunch of these bikes. You guys probably seen those reviews on the website. Seeing him here in person is, is exciting. This is actually the first time that I've seen the Moton and uh, it brings back some memories because we've had a lot of good conversations about this product and Brent's been doing a great job unboxing and and building and then uh, testing these bikes so I'm really excited and I appreciate his help with the site I appreciate your feedback you know if we do miss anything maybe you can kind of help fill each other in or let us know so that we can get um, we can get better at doing our jobs but this is this is pretty neat stuff look at this some built-in built-in lights right there where the seat stays meet the chain stays i've never seen that before that's pretty innovative squat little folding fat bike tandem electric bike from moton wow this is this is pretty impressive this is just like straight up rip off of a bosch battery it looks like but hey if it ain't broke don't try to fix it right this is the bafang booth i think i'm gonna come by here later and talk to these guys there's not a whole lot going on actually it's just like I guess a couple bikes. Wow, that is tiny. Look at that. Gee whiz. Pardon me, what's that new motor called for the Bafang? Uh, this is uh, the M800 we call. M800. M800. How many watts is it? Uh, it's only 200 watts. 200 watts, yeah, but, but lightweight, yeah? Uh, the, the, it's very light. Yeah. Yeah, only 2.3 kilograms. Wow. Uh, the original design is for the uh, racing bike. Yeah, yeah. You know, on the market in, in Germany, we have uh, our competitor, Fatua. Fatua? Oh, Fazua. Fazua, yeah, 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 yeah. So we are, I think we are the second, uh, the, the company who designed especially motor for the I racing I like bike. this. This is really pretty too, and the battery integration. Bafang has been doing some some great stuff. I, are there any brands in the US you know that will carry this? Because I want to review it. Uh, some potential brand, big brand, really big brand is starting study this, but uh, it's not still, not launch on the market not yet it's not yeah. out yet do you, can you tell me who it is or is it a secret uh, it's just your secret secret right now that's okay i'll keep an eye out for it i appreciate it chris yeah i'll see you later thank you it'll be cool to see what happens with that yamaha okay here we go this is exciting coffee and these are some of the bikes we looked at maybe last year but that i never i didn't see it too many dealers i know they were starting to make their way out it's the same display and stuff that they've reviewed on some of the some of the bikes you got the road version that's cool the cross bike yep you know kind of neat to see the yamaha stuff hitting the market um i don't know if drew's around have you seen drew uh, I don't 
busy right now. He busy? So. Yeah, yeah, any any right like now. two minute updates? Like I'm I'm pretty familiar with the stuff. Got anything to say about Yamaha? Uh, just excited to be at the show, getting a lot of good uh, discussions with dealers. Yeah, good. Um, we're just kind of been in the market for a couple months and uh, seeing a lot of initial retail excitement. Good. Uh, dealers are happy. Um, What's know, the most showing, popular bike? The, uh, most popular bike? Uh, I think the Cross Connect is really. Uh, is that this one right here? Well, yeah. So yeah. Got, uh, the lights, the fenders. The, the dark, yeah, kind of the full featured Cross Connect. Uh, with the front suspension rack, the water light, bottle side cage, stand, water bottle bosses, cage, yes, everything. that's important. Um, yeah, that's I think probably been uh, you know by a little bit of a lead, probably been the most popular in the market. Sorry to right put now, you on so. the spot, Rob, hey, but you no did problem. great, dude. You did great. Yeah, I'll no see problem. you guys around. Uh, you see the you see the Wabash as well. So our police I, prototype is that this one? Off, so yeah, and, this is uh, a police prototype. <laughs> so this is uh, this is the Wabash. This is adventure and gravel and. Uh, you know, definitely one of the biggest growing segments in uh, in bicycle. Yeah. Specifically, is uh, gravel is getting it's really hot, hot right now. Right now. Yes, it is. And, uh, did you say get police together. or did I pick you that up? Police. I said police. You know, I, I got know, police on the brains, guys. More, <laughs> you know, I thought you said outdoor police. Camo to me. This is know, not a police or bike. Or a little, you know, a little more latte. Oh you know, yeah. For example. Yeah. Than, uh, I like the police, color. You know, for sure. That must just be me, man. It must be you. They had a presentation. Did you see it at the electric theater the other day? They were talking about how they use e-bikes in LA now, and they're like their arrest rate is up, their ticket rate is up because they're more yeah. nimble. Yeah, I heard they bought some uh, in LA, which is really it's cool. It's been a deal, really so. good thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah. But yeah, this new, uh, um, we're showing the prototype here. Um, it's just kind of a do everything sort of bike. You can do everything from road, you can do some, How some much single track, is you can it? do some gravel. Do you have the spec and pricing? We do not have yet. Oh, no. Prototype. Yamaha's oh, holding no. on to us again. So There's Drew. Yep, there he is. You guys giving away free there. sunglasses or what? Absolutely. Oh, some man. Sunglasses? Yeah, I'm going to grab some sunglasses. Hey, Drew. Hey, what's going on, Cart? <laughs> Later. Later. See ya. Sena, cool. We got some helmets. These guys have some really cool helmets. There's a new one, right? Where you can, like, talk and and you get your instructions on the phone and is this it it looks beautiful whoa the what's r1 bluetooth integrated it's bluetooth like helmet. integrated okay casey i gotta try this song will you help me out with that yeah, what size? i think large. i'm like a large that's a large one sweet will you put it on my head so that i can <laughs> keep filming and you guys can watch sure. oh yeah oh yeah i hear beeping wait can you hear me <laughs> now you can go up to 900 meters. 900 meters? That's pretty sweet. You got the adjustable dial on the back. What do you guys think about this thing? This is pretty cool. What Are these the colors? Yeah. yeah these are. Two guys. Hey, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> this is sweet. So we I could. We have a different model. So we have the, the X1 and the R1. Two different styles. What are the buttons. prices on these? What's sure. the different. MSRP okay. is $199 on the X1. Okay. $229 on the X1. $229. What do you get that's different besides like a sleeker, Boom, awesomer that's look? That's it. It's a sleeker, awesomer look. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit lighter as well. A little bit lighter? And yeah. The buttons are a little bit easier to function. I like this. And it looks really water resistant. It is. Yeah, I'm riding in the rain, not a problem. <laughs> that's what I love. I love to do that. Riding in the rain. Right. Thank you so much for the little overview and the demo. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, this is what Interbike is all about, you guys. Animal crackers and Twizzlers. Gotta love it. Rambo bikes again. I think we covered this section of show. They really pack it in, though, don't they? There's a lot going on around here. Get my helmet all adjusted again. Of course, we got the Bosch bike over here. Oh, bike. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. This is Pete, Electric Bike Report. And then, Claudia, are you guys doing an interview? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sweet, I'm gonna come back to do an interview too. I don't mean to interrupt you guys. No problem. It's great. Yeah. Catch you later. Yeah. We'll be looking at the kiosk soon. Uh, that's like the little, like, you know, color display, removable, has USB. It's the new Bosch stuff. Pretty excited about that. This is a Kalkoff bike. You can see it through the sticker. Really beautiful power tube integration. Bosch does a great job. And they've got this little electric theater. I was speaking here yesterday talking about some of their, actually I was talking about the community. I was talking about you guys. Um, just getting feedback and stuff, sharing what I've seen, which is a lot of growth in the space recently. I love the integration of the batteries. So this is a new Trek bike with Bosch. Of course, they're all Bosch. It's the Bosch booth. Cube, love how this bike looks. And then what do we have over here? This is a Cannondale. Yeah, so a lot of road bikes going on, lightweight. And then look where they've positioned that, uh, that button pad. And here it is. Yeah, see, neat. 
There's a little USB. Let's see what that looks like here. Do, do, do. Is it? Oh yeah, there it is, micro USB. And they said it's functional. I asked Jonathan about that. I was like, does it work? Because they didn't enable it on like the, what is that, the little Purion? I was kind of bummed about that. Beeline, which apparently recently is sort of partnering up more and more with the Excel group with Raleigh and iZip. Oh, and then all this stuff, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go by the high bike booth on the way. Beautiful triple crown, oh, no, double crown. Just has the rubber bumpers. It's uh, another power tube, a lot of Bosch stuff going on. I've heard about the fly-on, but I just haven't seen it a lot. This one's pretty cool, because it's like got a custom paint job. I thought this was, this is awesome. It's like autographed and kind of tagged and stuff. Looks like a mammoth, uh, mammoth mountain insignia there. Beautiful stuff, and that one's using Yamaha, so. Cool, high bike, there it is, there's the fly-on. Look at that thing. Huh, very cool. I have not ridden that yet. I do expect to ride it at some point. It's a little bit bigger, but I think it's supposed to be really powerful. Loving the big hydraulic disc brakes they got on this thing. Big, big display. Wow, that's exciting. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Avis, gotta stop by Avis. Shout out to them. They gave me this helmet, so oh, that's what I wear. Hey, yes. I see you everywhere, dude. I know, dude. You, go to the, you know, great minds think alike. You. It's true. Anything I should check out for sure? Like, I'm just wandering around. Um, I've done everything over there. You did? <laughs> I just got to keep going, man. There was a cool little bike with a little yellow kind of Super 73 looking bike. Yeah. Did you see it? I haven't. Is it this way? Yeah, it's at the track. It's at the track. I'm going to go check it out. The track's a bit iffy, though. It's like really bumpy. It's perfect. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> it's outside, right? Yeah, it's kind of the worst track I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, that's what I heard, you guys. I heard that the track was a little bit meh. But anyway, Avis stuff, locks, folding stuff, helmets, rain cover, gotta love that. Bug catcher. Come on, Sena, you could get, you could do it. You could add a bug catcher. Lock, they did send me like an alarm lock that I haven't tested yet. Um, I like the lightweight ones a lot. Combo. Some of these are just huge and they're they're kind of expensive, but you know, when you pay a lot for an e-bike. Two meters, so it stops yes. the alarm and it opens. So does this have like a GPS app and you can... Uh, no, it has not yet in GPS. This is the next thing to come. Interesting. The thing is here, uh, it's, um, you open it by phone. There's no key. Uh, huh, so it's all digital. Yes. The, how does the alarm go off? Uh, if you touch it... Uh, if you if you, if it's you, motion sensing? Exact, exactly. Does it send you an alert on your phone too? Uh, that's also to come. To come, yeah, okay, yeah. you guys are doing great work. <laughs> See you later. Sorry to interrupt. Hey guys, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got uh, Park Tool. Oh, I love Park Tool, you guys. This is cool, so you could set the bike on that, I'm guessing. Trailhead Workstation. A lot of these shops have the big uh, mechanical, like, motorized lifts. Uh, let's see, what is that? there it is. That's a really handy one. You don't want to hurt your back, and these e-bikes can be pretty heavy. Wow. And you'll notice that they're lifting it up from the base of that dropper post. You don't want to lift from here, because that could mess up like the sliding action, and it's just more vulnerable. So, word to the wise right there. More tools and stuff. Shimano, I gotta go check that out, right? Shimano, Shimano. I heard they've got... Well, I don't know if I can say too much about it. I always gotta be careful what I find out and what I say. But Shimano's doing good stuff as usual. I think this is, whoa, prototype. Look at that nice display. They got the new button pad. I remember messing with this once. It's a little bit concave. The buttons are a little bit harder to push for me. But um, it's like removable display again. That's cool. Not seeing any USB ports though. Oh well, I think they fixed some of the charging stuff that I've complained about in the past. They have all these like seminars and stuff that they do at Interbike. And they walk through all their all their new stuff because of course they make drivetrain stuff and they make disc brake stuff and they even make anything that says Pro. That's Shimano too. So these guys are massive. And folding locks. Let's see. JMB or JBI, JB Importers, I think is what that is. Okay, speed play, you know. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 
Okay. Is this an e-bike or what? It's not an e-bike. It's not an e-bike. Tell me about your thing, Randall. Uh, eventually, eventually there will be... Thesis, is this your company? This is my company. Sweet, dude. Are you just launching or how long has it been around? Uh, we've been around for a couple of months. Couple months? Uh, we launched via our website back in late June, early July. Okay, cool. Uh, and we just announced a new type of program with which, through which we work with local bicycle professionals. Oh. Which is kind of a core aspect of our broader thesis. We have a product thesis here, which is essentially a 5, 6K equivalent, obsessively curated sure. uh, one bike for every road here in the gravel configuration. This is neat. I really like the wider tires, right? Like you got the drop bar configuration, but you have that comfort aspect. And these are even wider than a lot of the gravel bikes I see. Yeah, so we went with an ultra wide cross country style rim. Cool. The Fused with graphene to make it both lighter and stronger. Graphene? Oh, it is light. This is super light. So you're thinking you might do an e-bike at some point? Uh, so I'm very friendly with a lot of the e-bike systems manufacturers. We yeah. actually just did an event with uh, um, Super Pedestrian oh, over in Cambridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you based? Uh, San Francisco. SF, right on, yeah. man. Yeah. So where are you based? All over. I'm in LA for a while. <laughs> I'll come up though. Yeah, come right contact right me come on right. the website, okay? Contact on EBR. Thanks for saying hi and yeah. good luck. Good luck with that. Let's see, see. So, KHS stuff, lizard skins. I link to these guys a lot, uh, you know, to add like a little slap guard to your bike, this kind of stuff, right? Or armor so that you don't get nicks and cable scratches and stuff. I feel like they do a pretty good job. It's kind of interesting to see, like all these grips and stuff. Oh, this is, this is great. Wow. I'll tell you how they feel. This one feels pink. Yep. yep. Very nice. It's like an old BMX, BMX bike. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on going. Let's see. Zero. A couple of people were calling that out. Those guys, I think they're in San Diego. We've talked about hooking up for another review. And Dahan. I didn't see very many Dahan e-bikes this year, if any, which is kind of interesting. It's Praxis. Okay. I have an appointment at 11 and it's getting pretty close, so I'm gonna hurry this up. It's fun. Urch, pardon me. This is slime. They always do these booths where you can like puncture tires and then see that they don't go flat, which is neat. Yes, SKS, great fenders and stuff. Like little, hey, adapters. The monkey link thing is really cool, and I, I guess they're connected. Uh, with SKS, you, it's kind of magnetic, so you could just add on a fender or a light with bikes that are Monkey Link compatible. Last year, they had uh, a Bulls bike that was Monkey Link compatible, and that was pretty cool to see on oh, an SQ Lab. That's like one of their, it's like a sister brand or something like that, and they have saddles and they do like fit, and they have one that kind of like rocks and pivots a little bit. Yep, FSA, looking good which stands for full speed ahead. Gotta love that. Oh uh, yeah, over there is Thule. They got this cool car, it's like an old Volvo up there showing what rack technology used to be like. That was pretty exciting to see. I was over there with Cameron Pemstein from, um, I'm trying to remember what it's called, uh, Motive. Yeah, that's his brand and he loves cars like Porsches and stuff. Look at this new stuff from, from Benno. Beautiful colors, looks like they're using Bosch drive systems, double battery, gotta love that. That thing is, that is nice. So the Benno Boost, I think I've reviewed the older version of that thing. Wow, really cool. Big tires so you get that comfort even though it's a rigid, fully rigid frame. An active line motor down there it looks like. So these are the approachable step through bikes and active line, yep, pure active, not active line plus. That's interesting. I'm sure I'll be reviewing some of this stuff this year as well. Oh, cool, yeah. Look at this tandem, you guys. It's got like a Gates carbon belt drive. I remember seeing this the other day when I was at the outdoor demo day. Huge disc brake, and they put it in the back. Normally your weight kind of shifts forward, so you'd want some good braking up front. Um, they said they did this because there's just more weight on the bike when there are two passengers. I'd probably put a Thudbuster or something on that if I was riding it, just for comfort. I feel like this back area gets no love, so let's do it. Boost. Ah, the sock guy. interesting so you could like I guess these are like paddle paddle bikes that's fun huh 
Sweet. Okay. Let's see. Anything down there look interesting? Okay. Yo! <laughs> so some people are like, you know, get into the show. Maybe they don't have a booth, but they'll bring their bike and just walk it around like that so you can ask them questions. And that's a way to start your company. I mean, that gentleman, you know, it sounds like he's, he's brand new. And uh, Wahooligan. Woohoo! <laughs> just get mobbed in this place. Pioneer. Look how waterproof that is, you guys. Wow. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm gonna go over to... I don't wanna miss... I'm gonna miss the Thule booth. In their discussion of what they do for... Huh. Cool. Triathlete stuff. There it is. So there's that old Volvo. And then we have a new VW with like all the latest tech. Which is pretty cool. And a nice little front bag with a phone holder. Some cool backpacks and stuff. I like this new roof rack. Really sleek, aerodynamic. Beautiful stuff. Sweet. Hey guys. Awesome. Bike racks, roof racks. Thule, yeah, so Thule acquired uh, these guys that make the maxi, right, for kids. Uh, these are great car seats, bike seats, whatever, and they've got the front one, they got the rear one, and there's an adapter, because they don't fit on all, like this is the new one, um, and it kind of clamps in from the side, and s most of the racks, like it's pretty compatible with, this is a Bosch powered bike, uh, but they do have an adapter, and I've been linking to that for some of the bikes, like uh, the Avello bikes, because their racks are like extra big. There we go, it looks like, Fantic over here on display a little bit. Doesn't look like it's a whole. Doesn't look like it's a whole booth. Just like a little feature thing. I saw the guys at Green Guru too at Outdoor Demo Day. They have recycled, like accessories that are really, ne really neat. You know, kind of sustainable because they are recycled materials. Cliff Bar, Maxxis tires, Osprey. They make great bags. Yep, we got another. Something custom. Someone kind of bringing their products into the store or into the show. Maxxis tires. Cool, cool. Huh. <laughs> Food stuffs. Stinger. Love that. It's interesting how they kind of group stuff together. I feel like we've wandered out of the e-bike space, but the influence of Bosch is sort of everywhere. When you see the accessories on bikes, demo bikes usually have Bosch, They're the bigger ones. Um, but you know, I really like Rosa and some of the other companies. Wow, that's cool. High core. It's like neat. Edge cycling. Some more e-bike stuff here. But, you know, we're kind of on the fringes here. It's like at the ends, both ends, when we were over in the import area. I don't know what this is all about. Next challenge. Nice, snake board. There's a girl that lives in the neighborhood where I've been staying in Long Beach, and she uses one of those to get from her car to her apartment. She's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. It's like, like, are you really gonna be able to ride that? And she did it. She did just fine. Hopper. Cool. Is this like a ride share thing or what is yeah, Hopper? It's bike share and scooter bike share. Bike share and scooter share. Wow. E bike? This one? Yeah, this is an electric bike. We're portable battery pack that you plug into here and then you can use it to charge your phone when you're not riding your bike. So do you buy the battery? Yes. Where are you guys deployed? Or the where you actually, the, it comes with the rental. So oh. uh, the e-bike would be available like if you're in a hotel, renting from a hotel oh. or a bike shop, and then you would get your rental, and then they'd give you the power pack in order to power your ride. I like that. And then, like you're saying, it's it's just portable power for your phone or whatever. Exactly. Picnic, power to the people. Power to the people. I love it. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> this is this is neat. Hopper. Have a good one. Sweet, sweet, squirt. Green Guru, this is what I was talking about before. Yeah, look at their stuff. So it's very much, you know, we saw some of those other accessories before. Their stuff's just kind of got that like hipster feel and like funky, these are, you know, fork, fork arm, like bottle beer holder. That's, there it is. Yeah, see it's full of, full of empties right now. 
This is kind of cool. Love this stuff. Hey, dude. Yeah, how's it going? I'm doing pretty well. I was looking for you the other day at Outdoor Demo, and okay. you were all over the place. Do you want to give me some background on your company that's from Boulder? Sure, yeah. Um, so Green Guru, um, we focus on repurposing and recycling materials. We started with uh, bike tubes. Love it. Um, back in 2007, and expanded into other materials like tents and banners, uh, climbing ropes, wetsuits. Uh, you can see kind of the yeah, obviously the bike tubes here, which is great. All these come from uh, bike shops all over the country. Individuals send them to us as well. That's cool. Um, and then we repurpose other material where we can find uh, possible. And then the colored fabric is from uh, tents and awnings, like Expo tent and awnings. Sweet. Um, we do backpacks. We do some uh, really cool beer carriers that mount on your bike as well. Some hip packs. Yeah. Uh, handlebar bags. Uh, Peignets are really popular. This is uh, great. What are these bags. called? Because I the seat bag. Uh, yeah, seat pack. Yeah. Um, Those are great. Bike, man. bike pack. Uh, obviously, for bike packing, you, uh, yeah. your rear. Uh, there, it's great because it doesn't require a frame. It has a frame sheet inside of it. Where do you guys actually like make these? Because I mean, you're based yeah. in Boulder, dude. Uh, they're all made in Colorado. Wow. Yeah. Dude, I went to school there. I love Colorado. Excellent. Born and raised, actually. Oh, cool. so I'm glad I got to talk to you. Any other Thanks. shout outs or 2019 updates? Um, last year, we hit over a million pounds of um, bike tubes recycled. Whoa. So the number keeps going up, which is exciting. That's awesome. Um, we have a really cool Kickstarter project we're launching okay. in October. Yeah, tell me about um, that. Yeah, so it's the mod case. Um, so, this, yeah. yeah. So you can mount it on your handlebar, you can mount it on your frame, you can mount it in your van, you can take it camping. Huh. And basically, you go and close this up and then flips down. This one's set up for uh, Tektara fishing, so if you're uh, backcountry mountain biking, you can take a fly rod with you. That is cool. It's got like a work surface slash cutting board that slides in and out. Wow. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to, to get a fish, you can uh, gut it out there. Um, this is kind of a fun setup right here where it's as a mini bar. I love that. Yeah, so you got kinda, a little It's kind of neat. So special picnic. That. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rock on, dude. Yeah, yeah. Nice Good to, to see you. I'll yeah, see you cool. next time. Electricbikereview.com. Okay. Oh, perfect. So I'm mostly or anything like no, that? I don't. No, but this will be, this is like an overview of Interbike okay. in Reno because, okay. you know, some people weren't able to make it. Yeah. Um, I'm just covering like stuff I think is cool and cool. I think you are awesome. Awesome. I appreciate that. You go by court? Court, like a okay. tennis court. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you around. All right. Take care. Later, Davidson. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, what else do we got? This looks like how to go back there maybe from some sort of don't know. Oh, yes. Wonder Woman bike, Joker bike, mock off. Let's see, I'm gonna let's go this way. Let's see what else we got. Alpine Star. A lot of cool brands. Honestly, this year at Interbike it seems like a refinement of a lot of products. It, you know, we've got mid drives we've got batteries that are like more integrated that little motor from Bafang super exciting for me because I like lightweight stuff um, let's see if Oakley has anything these are sick helmets right wow looks like the glasses are built like into the helmet this is crazy I like that gear Oakley has a really cool like headquarters building uh, right near where Easy Motion used to be and I've ridden on this track sort of around they have like a tank that's out there and like a cool little test track yeah just helmets and stuff oh, sweet a penny farthing All right this is what bicycles used to look like guys it's like a huge front wheel that you pedal directly so there's no gears uh, you know, and depending on how big the front wheel is, that really determines how fast you can go or how easy it is to climb hills. You gotta like step on this to get up in the saddle and steering, you kinda gotta move your move your legs a little bit so you don't bump them. I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Neat to see. Lazine, <sighs> Lazine, I feel like I've heard of them before. Grips, Ride Concepts, Evoc. Yeah, there's, I feel like we might be getting towards the end. Some backpacks and stuff, <laughs> bike bag. Oh, uh, that's cool. You know, I like that company bike flights, or at least I like the idea. I haven't actually used them before. Um, the thing is, you can't really ship e-bikes too easily because they have the battery, so it's like, bummer. Um, that's why I keep coming back to the Bosch power packs and batteries that are like cross bike compatible. So you can ship your bike if you're someone who does that and then you can ride on location. There we go. 
Rocky Mounts. Is this uh, this the Citizen? Yeah, they got the the new Citizen this year. Really nice. It's got the power tube battery. It's just clean. It kind of kind of disappears. So the bikes are getting more integrated. Although their motor isn't like especially tightly integrated. Um, let's see what else we got here. I feel like I feel like we might be we might be nearing the end, guys. That's you know, inner bike in Las Vegas was a little bit bigger. There were more, more rooms, more, more halls, I should say. But I do think that's it for the inside. So I might cut and then pick it up outside in just a minute. So I made it outside and I ran into my old friend Peter. How's it going, buddy? Hey, good court, thanks, how are you? Awesome, what are you working <laughs> on these days? Cause you're bouncing all over the place and you're full of like, Great info about companies. And yeah, absolutely. Well, so I joined Brompton uh, in November and I do you marketing. You work at Brompton? Hell. Finally, right? Whoa, <laughs> that's because you're a huge fan. I mean, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. back absolutely. at the shop, you were always like kind of customizing them and you were really, a, yeah. Yeah, it's been great to work with Brompton and be close to the brand. It's something I've always loved and really believed in. And yeah. now uh, I get to just talk about them. And here I'm on camera. I haven't actually done much video in a while. So thanks for this. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, relevant to you guys, I think there's a lot of excitement around the electric Brompton. Uh, yes, there's a there lot of is. question marks around the electric Brompton. Uh-huh. Uh, there's still question marks around oh, the electric no. Brompton. I can't be too revealing, but uh, you may know that it's already been released in the UK. I've uh, heard for about trial. that, yeah. Great, great response to the product. People are really psyched. Um, Brompton is just being very cautious, wanting to make sure that when it comes to the US, yeah. it's ready for the US. It's set, perfect, all the tweaks uh, made. Totally. Um, but we have a prototype and we have a first run model in the office that I've been riding around Brooklyn a little bit yes. and it's amazing. Keep your eye out if you're in Brooklyn. Can I review it someday? <laughs> like, can we make yeah, that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would you, love you'll that. You'll be the first one to know. I and would love you'll it. be the first one to know if you're watching. So. Sweet. And I hope you're well, you know, you've got your relationship and your job and you've yeah. just been through a lot in the past two years, a lot of growth. And now you're in your like dream job, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it makes it's me happy. I High love fives. to see you, dude. Yes, you know me. I'm going to keep going, but uh, have a great show. Thanks, Cord. See you. Later, Peter. Well, that was awesome. Like, I haven't seen him for a long time. Uh, used to work at Nice Wheels in New York City and they would customize Bromptons and make them e-bikes. So this is what the food situation looks like. Here's the expo hall, right? That's it, it's the Sacrum Station Center. I can't read that. Chicken strips. Look at this nice area, this is so fun. There it is, the Sparks Convention Center. This is where Interbike happens nowadays. I was looking at food yesterday and this seems to be like the best, best one, the veggie roll or the Thai spring roll. Are you guys gonna be here next year too? Hopefully. Hopefully you yeah. have the best food. You ran out of salad though yesterday. Oh, no. You got more today? No, we're good, we're stocked. We're stocked. Yes, yeah. I'll be back for lunch. Yep, so there's that. There's some fish food, a school bus with the snow cones and then some meat stuffs. So yeah, this is the food situation. There is, there's the outdoor section and the test track. So let's go. Oh, and there's the Atlantis. Remember when we started? We parked like over behind that place and it was, it was awesome. And this is what I was talking about. Look at the mountains. We're kind of in a little gully here, but Reno is just so beautiful. Really had a good time on this trip seeing all the different new stuff, like we do, being in a beautiful place. Da, da, da. <laughs> there we go. There's the no. Oh no. No. I wonder if I can get in over here. Oh, that's the test track. That's it, guys. Woo! Look at that, there's a new stromer. Wow. Looks like it's kind of just like a line and then back. It's so maybe a little bit less, less ramps and features than we've seen in the past. But we've also like had people getting hurt flying all over the place. Can I like jump over the fence? Yeah. Thank you. You guys are the best. It's Secret entrance. That's right, GoPro. GoPro right? Check this out, huh? Oh, man. Whoa, thank you, you guys. You having fun? Yeah. Serving we, the we, drinks? We, we try. Yeah, thank you. I hope you have a great show. See you later.
That was awesome. It's like a whole dump truck full of food, I guess. Okay, there we go, Stromer. Raptor? That is not a Stromer. This is maybe the ST, ST5, super nice bike. Hey, how's it going? Great. Just checking stuff out. Electric bikes. South Beach electric bikes, Magnum. The fun, these wheels are fun. <laughs> Go up and down. That's awesome. Let's see, Velta, Ridley, Harrison Mueller. This is interesting, huh? I wonder what we're looking at here. Lily, Lily? more camel bikes, E Grizzly. Not really sure. Oh, this is Urban Arrow. Yeah, not uh, not Reese Miller. Very cool. They got this funky cargo bike here with like a, it's like a short version of a bucket bike because so many times they're really long. This one's a lot shorter. Of course, it's got a you know, Bosch drive system. What is this one? Performance line. So that's interesting to me because you, you know, it's a cargo bike. It's a little heavier. Performance performance line, that's the higher powered motor. That's kind of what you'd want. I was I was thinking maybe it'd be CX, but maybe they don't need it since it's smaller. Espen, yeah, that's right. I've covered some of their stuff. Pesu, covered that bike maybe a year or two ago. Tempo, you know, same sort of thing. There's some different, different brands mixed in. This is cool. Wow. Razia, funky, man. Got little trikes and stuff. Bomb track. What? Who makes this one, you guys? Also, we, we are manufactured from Germany. So. What are you called? Uh, P Tech. P Tech. Okay, P -Tech. sweet. I'm just doing a walk around, and you have some really, really neat bikes, man. Yeah, it's for cargo for bikes. A, a little bit handicapped people, or have problems with balance. Or... Do you have distributors in the U.S.? Uh, in the U.S., yes. Yeah, NEC cycles. So NEC that's... cycles. That's these guys. Yeah, this all the way along is NAC, all the products that you Oh, see. all this is? Yeah. Okay, even even Besvi down there? Uh, Besvi also, yeah. yeah wow, I'm gonna go check that out. Thank yeah, you, Martin. okay, you're welcome. Cool, there's the Besvi stuff. I'm used to seeing these guys in uh, sort of mountain view. Yep, cute, covered a lot of these bikes. Uh, really interesting, like high powered stuff, good mid-drive, Broza. <laughs> good to see you, I'm just doing a quick one. Got some beanbag, toss a bull. Careful on those. Yuba, same stuff we saw inside bulls. This is just, you know, it's outdoor stuff, so you can try the bikes here, which is really cool. Pegasus, yes. Yeah. So this is a new, new brand that's being, I guess, introduced through bulls. It's like a, I don't know, a sister company or something. Trek, Trek has great stuff, you guys. This is one of my favorite bikes for 2018, right? The Verve Plus. It's got. Nice step through, Bosch, it's the active line. Uh, yep, standard active line. I was thinking maybe it was plus, but you know, good price, good dealer support and stuff. Turn, of course they got the GSD, folding bikes, Bafang. Oh boy, there's the one with the double batteries that we were talking about inside the show. Yes! Out of beer! I can't, I can't right now, cause I'm working. But let me tell ya, hey guys. <laughs> Elevation. Oh, okay, this is maybe like the ones we saw inside a little bit. Wild side. This is great. This is great. I think we, I think we made it. I might have missed something, but I tried my best. I hope you guys had fun. It's always cool exploring these places and seeing people that I that I'm friends with, you know. And hopefully, I'll, I'll meet up with you someday at one of these shows, or maybe in a shop or out on the bike trail. It'll be fun. I think that's it, you guys. Have a great day, love each other, and ride safe.